In this problem, we are going to take a look at the timing constraints associated with sequential logic circuits. We are given a generic state machine diagram which has two state bits. We are also given the timing parameters for the combinational logic and the state register. Using this data, we want to determine the largest value for the register's hold time that allows the necessary timing specifications to be met. In order to satisfy the hold time of the register, the input to the register must remain stable until T hold after the clock edge. The fastest that a new change can propagate to the input of the register is found by taking the sum of the contamination delays along the shortest path to that input. That is TCD of the register plus TCD of the logic, so T hold must be less than or equal to TCD of the register plus TCD of the logic. Plugging in the given contamination delays, we find that T hold must be less than or equal to 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, which equals 0 0.3 nanoseconds. What is the smallest value for the period of the clock that will meet the timing specifications? The clock period must be long enough for the data to pass through the entire circuit and be ready and stable for T setup before the next period begins. The data in this circuit must propagate through the register and the combinational logic. So the constraint on the clock period is that T clock has to be greater than or equal to TPD of the register plus TPD of the logic plus T setup of the register. Plugging in the given timing parameters, we find that T clock must be greater than or equal to 5 plus 3 plus 2, which equals 10 nanoseconds. Next, we want to determine what are the smallest setup and hold time specifications on the input in with respect to the active edge of the clock so that we can ensure that the necessary timing specifications are met. The in input must be stable and valid long enough before the rising clock edge for it to propagate through the combinational logic and arrive at the register in time for it to set up. So T setup of in is greater than or equal to T propagation delay of the logic plus T setup of the register. That equals 3 plus 2 which equals 5 nanoseconds. Once the in input becomes invalid the input to the register will become invalid after the contamination delay of the logic. In must stay valid long enough to ensure that the input to the register does not become invalid before the register's hold time. So T hold of in plus TCD of the logic are greater than or equal to T hold of the register. This can be rewritten as T hold of in must be greater than or equal to T hold of the register minus TCD of the logic, which equals 0 0.3 minus 0 0.2, and that equals 0 0.1 nanoseconds.